Apartment complex? Really? This seems relatively simple when you say, oh. Never mind. Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build yourself an apartment simplex, not to be confused with the much simpler apartment complex. So without further ado, let's investigate how we'd go about this. And for our palette, we're going to be using, and then we're also going to be using, and this sign might be important. So with your palette chosen, then what you need to do is get a nice flat area. And remember, although it might be a simplex, it's still an apartment at its core, which means, well, get apartment-like blocks. So for reference, teleporting over to my apartment build, you can see how I did this. I went for a more brownish look, you know, more city-like. And you can see how I have all these nice bushes, flower beds, some basic stuff in here. And while the rooms are cookie cutter, still, they're apartments. They're completely functional, so nothing really to worry about. So with this in mind, think about how you want your rooms for the simplex to be. Because of course, it's significantly more complex than a complex. With your basic idea now in place, start by placing one building on the ground. Not a whole apartment complex, one apartment room. Or it doesn't even have to be that, but you should place something simple on the ground that looks like the rest of your structure. This will act as the starting off point for the more complex parts of the simplex. So bring yourself in a nice simple room. And here's the thing, although this is a joke video, this actually has real applications because, I mean you've already seen the intro even though I haven't yet because I'm recording this. Well. This is a base really focused around design, and now you can fit just about anything you want because you have a bunch of rooms. So a bunch of complex staircases makes up the simplex. So think about that, and then with that in mind, think about where you want to place your rooms in their haphazard angles. All right, so we have a very simple room here. It's pretty much an apartment room from my apartment tutorial couple changes here and there, but otherwise, it's a pretty basic house thing. The inside is just barrel throwing, because of course, it's a joke tutorial, I'm not going to go too crazy with it. But here's the thing, with our initial building, what we want to do is add an extension, some way for it to go higher. I recommend using a ladder or staircase, of course, I've already said that, so come up with a way to go higher whether it be a staircase outside or part of the building. Potentially, you might want to do a staircase going like this. Who knows? Just try adding something so that way you can go higher and add your second building. Once you get the second building in, then you can start making pathways around in order to make the simplex, the most complex version of an apartment. Now, I've added a staircase to the top of it like this, with support beams going down. And what do you know? It doesn't look that good, and that's completely intentional. You can see how it looks kind of out of place, but after all, an apartment complex is remarkably simple. A simplex is remarkably complex. So bad jokes aside, now with this weird looking staircase here, what we want to do is make it into an intersection, since of course, we want to make it as complicated as possible. We can't have symmetry here. So with that in mind, get more bricks. I recommend bricks for this, mainly because it fits into the palette while still being a different block and having a stair variant, unlike terracotta. And then make it go different directions. Don't forget your support beams. Don't block entrances. Don't destroy a landscape. You know, don't go over bushes if you placed any and make sure they go in all sorts of different directions. If you want them to be nonsensical, go right ahead. Ladders, that's fine. The more complicated, the better. Here, we have a bunch of pathways and useless buildings. A lot of them are empty. So, what do we do from here? For one, add a little bit of variation. Not all of them need to have plants like this. I made some more simple variations. Two, 
maybe add some extra decorations. I put a cherry tree here because, you know, that would be weird to have an apartment, so might as well put it here. And then, I'm going to have one apartment that's straight up just going to be walked through. Break down the door. Alright, so, I have a bunch of pathways here. Not all of them have support beams yet, but gets the idea across. And you can see, this is looking pretty simple. You know, it's a simplex after all. You don't have to go too complicated. So, you can see how the staircases go up, down. Might want to include some barriers in the way, so that way, you know, get those steps in. Some of them can go to nowhere. I mean, why not? And with all this in mind, what you want to do is place random buildings. Of course, simplexes, unironically, are a real thing. A one-story apartment. So, make sure that each place is technically only one story. Make sure that your lighting remains consistent. You don't want to have any weird inconsistencies with each one of these. And then, what you want to do is fill them up with things you might need. Of course, this is a joke build. I don't care if you make a room filled with chairs and then link it into the comment section below. In fact, please do fill up an apartment with only chairs and post it in the comments. So, with this in mind, build your support beams, build your useless buildings, and then you might want to include apartments inside some of them. Maybe some of them can be actually livable. Maybe some of them could have a balcony. Who knows? But make sure they're varied, because otherwise it might become a little too simple, kind of like a complex. With some added goofy support beams, you can see how this place is becoming a bit more complex. Well, making it a simplex. So, wordplay aside, because I'm gonna start fumbling over myself if I keep doing it, you need to fill up each building with something. Of course, I recommended doing nonsense things, but you might actually want to do something productive with this place, especially if you're building it in survival, since I don't think anyone going out here is going to spend this much granite in terracotta for whatever this monstrosity is. So. I'd recommend filling them up with genuinely useful things, and once you're done with that, then technically you're done with the build. Of course, the more nonsense that goes on, the better. Add trees growing out of it. Add random things that really shouldn't be there. All of that stuff. With some extra support beams and interiors added in, well, this build is done. It's a little bit of a joke, I mean it's April Fools, but Here's the thing, although it's a joke, you can still use it for something if you decide to build this monster. So you can either turn it into some sort of weird villager trading hall where each building could be dedicated to other villagers, you could turn it into a weird base idea, could be something to fill in a city where you don't know what to do, either way, you can fill it up with random things, and honestly, well, it's all part of the bad joke I saw online that I decided to turn into a video, the powers of being a content creator. So, if you're interested, you can go ahead and build this, but otherwise, it's more of a joke and it's a little odd if you ever want to build this. But I will say, make sure that your supports properly go into the ground, even if they're a bit nonsensical, and, you know, just use it for something. Don't leave it completely empty, because it's not the cheapest build to do. But anyways, this is a nice little build you might want to do. And notably, it seems like the sign that powers all of Gearsaw Studios has uh, stopped working. I, I knew I wasted all the budget on building those roads, so I'm going to have to cut it here. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, Please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw out.